at the Richmond Athletic Ground, Rugger Stars from England and Wales come out to twinkle against the bright lights of Scotland and Ireland. Scotland and Ireland are in dark jerseys, and they'll need to be thick in this bitterly cold wind. It doesn't help the game much, but it keeps the players on the move. Soon England and Wales get going in earnest, and by half time they're leading by six points to none, and here come three of them. And then the Scots and the Irish take the offensive, but though they keep up the pressure, they can't get through. There's some grand passing by the Scots-Irish forwards, but it doesn't get the points until near the end, when they score their only try, and here it is. But England and Wales win by 17 points to three. A ghost town is all that remains of Lagunillas, which a few hours ago was a community of poverty-stricken squatters living over one of the most prosperous oil fields in Venezuela. A city of some 2,000 homes built on stilts. It was completely destroyed when fire roared across the film of oil on the surface of Lake Maracaibo. Dredges grope for parts of houses, and boats go out to search for bodies that lie at the bottom or among the floating debris. Only about a fifth of the population escaped injury or death. Rough pine boxes hold the remains of those who lost their lives. Unloaded from boats, they are transported to the only dirt street of the town, where they are stacked one atop the other. 500 out of 2,000 people are accounted dead. But those who were unhurt take a hitch in their belts and go back to work. Two days after the Holocaust, the pumps are going again on the site of a town that is no more.